Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 video. Today I'm going to be doing something slightly different with you. So this is going to be a training video. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pausing the game, um, explaining what I'm doing, every, every button press almost, um, and everything I'm looking at, and hopefully it's going to help you improve your game. So... Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this sort of style. Um, and if you have any questions, just drop a comment below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down at the end. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see how this goes. Uh, so, just a normal kickoff, just passing it out. And I always tend to go backwards um, at the start, just so the teams, uh, you know, we, we, we pull the opposition out of their place. Um, out of their place, almost. So you can see Man City pressing. It's just a case of uh, drawing, the, drawing them out, which leaves their midfield spaces, or leaves space in the midfield. It's just a normal pass whilst holding uh, the player select buttons to set players on runs, like my right winger there. But if there's nothing on, if they're being tracked, so just rewind that. And this is what I'm going to be doing. So. So here, I'm holding player select and plus pressing pass for him to spin off, but he's being tracked. So there's no point. He's, there's too many defenders outside, so just lay it off. Again, holding player select. Salah's going to go on a run. Again, he's been sort of tracked. As, um, Otamendi's keeping an eye on him as well. So that's why I'm passing back, set my right wing on a run. Again, he's being tracked by De Bruyne. Um, up until the point that I turn and the reason for that is because he realizes I'm not gonna be able to play a three ball from there so I'm just keeping possession but just trying to stretch the Man City team keep the ball moving just normal passes here sometimes I use a three ball like that for example and what that does is it brings your players up a little bit or the, the player you're passing to forward so normal pass three ball Normal pass, normal pass, through ball. Okay, got a bit of an avenue here. I was going to pass into Salah, but we really see him open as such. Fake shot, so we press the shoot and the pass button together. Put one after another. Going to do a drill cross here, try and pull it back. And there we go. So the drill cross is the uh, double tap of your lob pass button. I was holding the player select at the same time for an early cross. Just find it helps that execute a little better. Then it's just a case of, a case of aiming with your left stick. So there's a through ball there. Back to Robinson. Through ball. Uh, sorry, low, drilled low cross. And then press shoot to finish. Nothing special. Didn't even finesse it. Just press shoot. Came off Sachenko. Okay, well, so I said De Bruyne earlier. I didn't realise it's actually they're playing uh, Zachenko. <laughs> One pass. So that was a three ball. Okay, I'm gonna try and pull it back. There we go. So again, same same exact thing really. Um, three ball there to Mane. Three ball again. Hold the left player select. Uh, player select and double tap the lob pass button and aim with the left stick. It's important to aim with the left stick so otherwise if you don't aim it won't, you won't be able to pull it back like that. You have to aim the left stick. And it's worth going to practice and just practice pulling it back to players because if you keep your eyes open and instead of blindly crossing into the box you're going to create far more goal scoring opportunities. Man City on the attacker. I'm just going to watch. Keep my players. Uh, can save Allison. Just try to keep my players um, towards the edge of the box. Just try and block the uh, block the space. Try and avoid them passing into their into their strikers. You may have noticed here that I had Van Dyke. And um, what I'm what I'm trying to do. Let me just. Rewind this. So, I know Aguero is better on his right foot. 
But here I thought, oh, he's going to go for his left foot. But then he came back onto his right. And what you can see that I'm coming across there, because from this angle, the only place he can really score is to the far post. When you're in this position, you have to go to the far post if you want to try and score. Your goalkeeper will save near post here nine times out of ten. Hence, I positioned Van Dijk to that side. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've, uh, I've ever seen a goal score from there at near post. Not unless the goalkeeper's been really, really poor. <laughs> You would expect them to save it nine times out of ten. Okay, so just a normal throw. Let's go run down the wing because I just looked at the uh, the mini map and saw there's no one there. Here near me. Okay, we've got double. we got double up on this uh, right hand side now, so I can play it in. Salah's going to run on. There we go. So once you get that. Oh, what a double save. To be fair, that was a pretty poor second finish for me. But you can see on this, this, this right-hand side that I doubled up. And all I've done is um, press the pass button whilst holding the player set for uh, Salah. Salah will continue his run. Then it's just about make sure you do this turn. Because if I was to pass behind me, uh, do a through ball, do a through ball from this position, um, it would probably go out for a goal kick. It would be too powerful. So it's important to turn and then do the pass. Do the through ball. If you don't turn, that ball will just go either right for a throw or a goal kick. Because it would just, just put too much power on it because he's off balance. Then for Salah, just applied Super Council there just to bring the ball in. So Super Council is RB and RT. Right bump and right trigger. Or R1 and R2 depending on which control pad you're using. Now I see the defender coming in. Now what I'm going to do is going to turn inside. And then, so just nothing special, just using the left stick. Okay, so I'm running here. See the defender coming. Slow, I release the sprint button. Pull the left stick in to go this way. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to apply sprint and change the direction of the ball to burst past Sichenko. Not not double tapping, nothing like that. So, sprinting, slow down with the left stick, then apply the sprint. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes the defenders are, uh, will stick a foot out here and you might win a corner. But if he doesn't win, if you don't win the corner, you're going to get in this position, which is really good. Now, here, I don't want to drill it because there's too, the space between Salah and Firmino is too small. Um, and the guy at the far post, he might get onto the end of that, but I wasn't sure entirely. So just a normal pass back to Firmino. Finesse finish. Unfortunate there. Uh, another finesse finish. And then when I've got an open goal, I do tend to aim towards the middle because I don't want... He's off balance, as you can see. Um, so I always tend to aim for the middle of the goal. I did not expect this. <laughs> um, so... Why do I aim for the middle of the goal? Because it gives me a greater chance of scoring. And usually when the goalkeeper's in this position, <laughs> you'd expect uh, him not to be able to get to that. But that's a wonderful save. Double save from Edison. Okay, just going to track Aguero. Okay, nope. I messed that up. It does happen. So, I had Firmino. And I was tracking Aguero's run as soon as he... I was a bit worried. See me trying to... I was worried about Aguero's run, but didn't see uh, Mares coming in off the right. I know by defender by the look of it. Not a lot you can do about that goal, to be fair. If you're looking at one player and you're tracking their run and they play it to someone else. So again, just got a low man city out here with their pressing. Try and switch it. These are all normal passes right there. Just going to do 
early cross here. Oh. So I know Robertson's left footed, so I know he's going to be quite good at crossing here. Um, and it's about getting the right, getting the right power and doing that early cross. So holding the player select, pressing the long pass button. Um, and why did I choose that cross? It's because when I'm in this position here, at this position, if I ha if the ball, if he receives the ball there, I'm play probably playing a through ball. But as the ball's running on a little bit too much, you'll notice that company is starting to catch up. And if I was to do a low cross, look, company would insert that easily. So I thought if I do an early cross, uh, just uh, holding the player select, pressing the cross button, that will bend the ball into Firmino, um, and then he hits the bar, unfortunately. And that was a normal shot, by the way. Not a finesse or anything like that. Easily shrugged off the ball. That's it out. So here's all about reading the play. Okay, so I tried to do first touch tackling here. I tried to preempt which way he was going to go. I thought he was going to turn towards my goal. So as the ball comes out of the sky, I've got number 26. I'm using super cancel, right trigger, right bumper, R1, R2. Just hold that. And then I've gone to the other side of him thinking he's going to go towards my goal, but he hasn't. So if he did, I would have won the ball. But then he's held, held me off. But I'm, again, still using Super Council, trying to get around the side. I forced him to lay the ball off. Now, when they play in here, I realise that Maris is tracked. And the only place they can really go is across to uh, number 21 here. Or Zuchenko out here. <clears throat> as soon as they do that I'm looking at the play and I'm if I look at that bit of play there there's only one ball that's dangerous for me right now and that's the ball to Sir Sterling which is number 7 so you can see I've got Trent Alexander-Arnold I'm holding Super Council and I'm getting across there as quickly as I possibly can now there's two ways to defend this there's either to try and intercept it but if I miss, I'm going to be putting myself in danger. So I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to run directly at the player. And uh, in this instance, I didn't, I'd didn't. i rather take the throw in than let him get past. So just tap the uh, tap the pass button there. The standing tackle. Just once. Just once. Just to play it out. So we look at this again. Good block there by Van Dijk. If he wins that and it goes through to Maros, they'll probably score. Um, I pass it across the box. Not the brightest idea, um, especially under pressure. He's he's won the ball back through his through his strength. Now when he plays it here, I know exactly what he's going to do. So I've got Van Dijk here. Select the Van Dijk. And I'm already turning because I know what that I know that ball's going. Now, luckily he didn't he didn't manage to get a header on that. He probably wouldn't have scored with a header, but it was just a case of uh, managing this here. So I put my body in the way using super cancel, and then letting the ball run out. But I would have uh, if he didn't try to go for the header. I would have just run alongside him. normal pass and okay so see if we can replay that again um, so Bernardo Silva I've got I've got um, Fabinho number three just coming into the box now we have got Fabinho now what I'm going to try and do is <clears throat> I was partially worried about um, Aguero making a run but he, he doesn't so that means I from here I know I can close the ball down everyone else is marked We've got Van Dyke coming across as well. So I'm using the secondary press with number four. So he wins the ball. Van Dyke wins the ball. 
turns. So when I'm here, I don't have a lot of options down the line. Okay, so number 26, I could probably play it to him, but he's probably going to lose the ball. So that's why I do a nice little turn. Play it to number three. Chip it out, head it back. And then this is a little bit of pressure here. Nothing too much. A simple pass and then play it out and start my attack. Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold. Salah. And it's got through. Here's Alexander Arnold again. He's left his man. And he heaves it forward. That's it. Sit back. Good bit. Good use of super council there. This is what I talk about when I'm saying about, you know, if you check out my defending goal kicks uh, video, this is exactly the same sort of thing. So it's just a clearance from the defender. Using super council, judging the path of the ball, and then make sure you jump early, because then he's just going to tower over Sterling. He's got, Sterling's got no chance there. To be fair, Sterling did quite well to actually even, like, put... Uh, Matip off, but it's a good bit of control. Nice easy pass off, but using that super council to get in those positions is is really key. So there's a through ball there, normal pass. Gonna look for Mane and then the return ball. So you can sort of see I'm getting trying down the wings all the time because I think that's uh, Man City's weakness right now, and it's about exploiting our weakness. So if I'm here, it's really packed in the middle. It's, there's not a lot going on the middle um, but down the wings it's definitely uh, oh, there's definitely some uh, options there oh, unlucky but let's, let's just have a look at that so driving towards the box I'm looking at options here and the only person I can really see is um, with any sort of space that's getting in front of the man is number 66 which is uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold but unfortunately just taken away it was pretty pretty difficult to determine who to go to Salah was sort of marked by number 30 um, and that's unlucky caused a little bit of chaos in there so then it comes back out to Robertson here and I'm using the most, effect most effective skill video well most effective skill um, from my most effective skill video, just facing up the defender, let him think I'm going away, and then just change direction. That gives me the ability just to cross the ball in here. Um, and I couldn't really do a lot with that, to be honest. Never going to score a header from there with Salah. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good defending right here. So, I'm just, if you know, I've, I've got 26, okay, but <clears throat> I don't want to drop too deep. See my defensive line? It's all in a straight line. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on that as well. You know, always looking to play the offside trap. But Aguero's made a good run there. He's played on side. So now I've got Van Dyke. Now what I'm doing is using Super Council. Um, first, first off, I want to stop him doing the low cross across the box. So I'm going straight to the edge of the box. As soon as he does that, I, I move in for the kill. And then just tap X. Just once. Don't have to double tap it. Don't double tap. Double double tap will give you uh, give you penalties. Simple tap of the X. Well, your pass button uh, for just a standing tackle, and then just play it out. Um, I could have played it down the line to be fair, but I like to just turn and play it out and start on the other side where there's more space, because I can play out here. And I could have gone down the line again, and I would have had uh, more options to, to attack. So 70% possession, 30% for them. Um, pretty disappointed about their goal, to be honest, but it is what it is. 
they're, they're showing quite a good threat, which is which is always good for the video. The really last thing I want to do is dominate, and you're not going to learn anything really. You can learn how defending. Okay, this is this is going to be good to watch as well. So, again, using Super Council, you're going to, you know, I use Super Council a lot. <laughs> um, so I've got Van Dyke here. I've already seen Aguero. Now, watch what I do. Watch, watch, watch this. See, I'm running behind. You see, if this is, uh, if he's running there, he probably still got that, continue that angle. I'm changing his direction using Super Cancel, so just holding RT and R, um, RB down, right bumper, right trigger, R1, R2. Um, going in behind him. <clears throat> and why do I do that? It's because I want to stop him lay, turning and laying the ball off and building their attack. I want to force Aguero um, into sort of a one-on-one -on -one situation with Van Dyke because I know Van Dyke's got so much strength. He's going to beat Aguero most times, you know, nine times out of ten. So I'm going to force him to go down and go towards goal and this is where I know I've got him I'm like okay I've got you dude now I just position goal side tap X and win the ball back you know I know Van Dyke is gonna win that battle every time you know he's not he's not much of a dribbler you gotta assess the player you're up against um, and who who you've got in that matchup okay Alexander Arnold's got loads of space here just gonna play it back. Player here, saw on the mini map. There's the three ball. Finesse. Cool. <laughs> three ball. There we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, just gonna let that go. Bounce out of play. Ah, oh, thought I had more on it than that. Okay. Now it's Sterling. Oh, good interception. This time it's slightly different. Now, like I said, with the grow, I ran in behind him. Now watch the difference here. I've got Fabinho, and he's got Sterling. Now I know Sterling's really quick. So the last thing I'm going to do is go behind him because he could probably run away from Fabinho. So what, all I'm doing is cutting off the, the space, force him to play the ball, and he's just giving it away quite quite cheaply there. Um, so he could he could have gone backwards and built the attack, which would have been his better uh, better choice of play. Can you play it wide? Three ball. Three ball. Seeing this player running. Can he use a manual shot here? He's not got the best shooting, so figured um, the manual shot would be the better option. Now, because Robertson's up front, so we're in a little bit of bother here. Okay, that's good defending again. So I had Van Dyke through the whole entire um, process from about here. Watch Van Dyke. I'm watching Aguero. And what am I doing? I'm applying secondary press. I realised. Watch, watch, um, who is that? Uh, so, Lalana. Watch Lalana. I saw him running, and then for some reason, he does that. So then I apply the secondary press, because I'm getting fed up of watching him. So, I was like, why are you, why are you doing this sort of sidestep here? So, apply the secondary press. To chase him down, go back to the uh, normal view. So yeah, you can see here, Lalana is just sort of doing that weird sidestep. Apply that secondary press, but still track Aguero's run. See, if you look at Van Dyke, I'm still trying to play him offside. I'm still trying to hold that line. I don't want to drop too deep because it keep you you're going to create gaps in your defence. So I'm trying to keep in line with my defense but at the same time uh, drop back will be ready to drop back and intercept so it's all about tracking your runner if I don't track him back he's gonna be able to play it down the line 
to Aguero and it's going to be far more threatening because one of my best set of backs would have been out of position. So if I moved, if, if I moved uh, Van Dijk out to face him, so normal ball, through ball, get down the wing. Ah, oh, unlucky. Just tried a Marseille turn there, thinking uh, that might work. A bit unlikely, to, to be honest, in those sort of, with those sort of uh, bodies. Oh, this is a good opportunity to uh, show my... show my air ability. I mean, Liverpool have got quite a lot of short players, to be fair. It's a shame Van Dyke doesn't go up for these. Let's actually enable that actually. So go to player settings. We can come all the way down to there here. Players to join attack. And we're just going to put Van Dyke there. There we go. So Van Dyke is now going to move forward. And I think that's Lalana going back there. So I'm hoping Van Dyke will now be the target man for the far target. So I'm going to just. I'll explain these steps in a minute. Oh. Okay. Let's rewind. <laughs> and, and talk you through these, through these steps. This is really cool. This is one of my favourite free kicks from these positions, like deep in, in this area. Um, so, I've got the ball. I've selected far target on the corner. So you just press left on D-pad, um, and then you can select. The type of uh, free kick you want to use. So I use fire target. Um, I aimed just in line with uh, who's that? David Silver, I believe. Yeah, that's, that's Aguero. That's David Silver. Well, I assume it's David Silver. So I aimed at him, and then all I'm doing is holding my um, my special controls button and my lob pass button together, and pulling back on the left stick to get this height. Okay, so you're going to see this go really high. Now, at this position, I have control of Van Dijk. And what I'm going to use is Super Council to adjust his position. And what I want to do is stay um, sort of... How can I explain this? Towards the, the throwing side of the defender. And why do I want to do that? It's because I want to head it back across goal like that. Um, if I had a smaller player, I'd probably do a run and jump, especially against company. Um, so I'd probably, probably pull him back forward, uh, pull him back further. But as Van Dyke doesn't have that much m mobility, and the ball was dropping quite quickly, I had to just do a stand and jump and hope he wins it. He did. And then it's just a case of just pressing shoot and just hoping that you're going to get through the, through the bodies or if there's no bodies there um, and score. But really, really cool. Here's my uh, corner technique I'm going to show you. Um, this is Salah. So I'm going to use the left foot, left footed player to bend this ball in. Played it short. That's been leave it clear. A oh, sweet beat. Through ball. And he just works it away. De Bruyne. Oh dear, I've had a bit of a player select issue there, but that's that's okay. Things happen. <laughs> These things happen. Oh. You might have heard me like tapping the button ten to a dozen there. Um, I don't know what happened, but I didn't have any of my uh, my players selected at the far post. Couldn't. To be fair, he was unmarked anyway, so I don't think it would have made much difference, but be interested to watch that back and see who was who was selected in that move. So, back to Salah here, just go to Marseille turn. Good tackle by Zichenko. Another throw. And it's fine, Alden. Little one two here, I'm looking for the one two. Okay. So 
when I'm in this position, I'm always looking for the outside. So that's why I played the ball there. And here, making sure he's on side first off. First off, because this this is a this can happen. Uh, you can get quite a lot of off sides here, because your your wingers tend to be a bit a bit dumb sometimes. So just player select, pass button, make the player run. You know what I'm doing here is holding special controls, drawing that number 13 as long as I can, bef before releasing it. So it's, I'm it's a, there's two things I'm looking at. I'm looking at number 30, who's advancing. But I'm also looking at Zachenko. Now Zachenko is just he's just pulled off Zachenko. But Zachenko has done well to get back in there and block the cross. Okay, that out of here. Mohamed Salah with the short one. Early cross. Oh that's better. Again, look what I'm doing with the grow. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. So I'm like, okay, you wanna you wanna try and run from there to the goal with the grow? Good luck with that. Go behind him, make sure you can't lay the ball off. Obviously I'm seeing Sane at this point, so I'm just coming across. So even if he does want to play to Sane. He can, and then win the ball back. Play the ball back to the goalkeeper. Reset. Lob pass. Concentration levels are very good, and so pass. is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. There we go. Just so here, I'm just using the special controls just to drag the ball, just to the side to allow me to play that through ball down the line. So here, I'm just pressing uh, player select and the pass button to make the run. Marseille turn. Check out my video on how to do that. Then I'm using special controls here. Just to open that open that area. And as soon as you start seeing the run and following it, it's too late. I've already played the through ball. And look how easy that is. It's got a massive amount of space to to play that into. Now I'm looking up. Don't really see a lot on to be honest. There's a lot of defenders in there. Mohamed Salah. That is terrific skill. Now we now this is better. Oh Firmino just moved out of the way. I like went too close to the goalkeeper for my liking. I tried to put it back to what to the position he was in. So if we quickly look at that. Look I'm looking at um so again, drag it out wide. Special controls, through ball, driving into the penalty box, and I saw I saw when I when I play the ball I see him here, and he's already made his move. Unfortunately, moved uh, a little little bit quicker than I expected. But. Okay, I'm gonna make some subs. I just looked at Ronaldo. He's absolutely got no energy left. Right back positions are really key, actually, in this game. Um, I'm going to play Joe Gomez, even, if, even though he's off form. The full back positions are really important um, in Pez this year more than ever. Let's bring in Shikiri as well. Okay. So Shikiri's unmarked. Okay, now he's marked. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, not with probably two defenders on him but especially with someone like Otamendi I'm glad it did <laughs> I'm glad it did because this is what I've been wanting to show you guys for for quite a while so the throwing this is one of my favorite throwing techniques um, it's quite tricky to do uh, you have to firstly get a line sort of from the thrower to your striker but you, you've got to try and force the defender to be like in the in line, so you can see what I'm doing there. So what I'm doing is moving forward, then backwards, then forwards, and then backwards, and then that creates the shield. Once I've got him shield, I took the shot too soon. Really, I was under pressure. I was a bit worried about um, number 17. I believe that's Kevin De Bruyne. 
and close me down. But everything there is pretty good. Uh, I wanted to go to the far post, but I failed miserably with that shot. Um, I, I might have been a goal actually if I, if I did. Okay, here's Sonic. Yeah, we know how fast Sonic is. Three ball, normal pass, normal pass. Salah's away. It's got to be worth an effort. Liverpool showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Okay, watching the grow. I don't like. He's through. Taking my best Guerrero. defenders out of defence like that, if I can help it. Again, more great play here. Yeah, so you can see I got Van Dijk here. I really don't like bringing defenders out, but I saw they only had Aguero up there, and uh, he played it again. Just sort of almost going behind him, but also stopping the cross. Because Van Dyke's behind now, so I know there's not too much of a threat if he wants to pass back. I fancy, uh, so then it's just a case of walking into him with Super Council and winning the ball back. Didn't even press X. A little lofted pass, a little flick. Looks like it's going to end in a draw, perhaps. No, you're not. Three ball. Drill. Ah, oh. come on, Gomez. Remember how I said the, the fullback positions are really important. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor pass. And that's that, ladies and gents. I hope you find that enjoyable um, and worthwhile. Obviously, it's try. It's hard for me to like explain and play at the same time um, because I'm trying to tell you all the buttons I'm pressing. So I'm not probably playing as fluid as I normally would. But hopefully, you guys got something out of that. Um, let me know what you think in the comments about this sort of style of video. Do you prefer it? Do you prefer where I just do short snippets and screenshots? Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully you can get a bit of everything out of this. Attacking, defending, super council use, uh, passing, shooting, etc, etc. So yeah, please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's see if we can get to, uh, let's say, let's say 150 likes. Um, you hit 100 likes faster than I expected on my last video, so I really appreciate that, guys. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I'll be doing uh, more videos like this and plenty more on my channel. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you again, guys. Bye-bye.